We're having a blood drive here today. Every two seconds in the United States, someone's in need of life-saving blood. But perhaps no one has more drive to give blood yeah. okay. yep. than this guy. The very first donation I made was in high school over 34 years ago. Ever since, Vinton Smith has been rolling up his sleeves. Yeah, you've done this before, right? I think so. <laughs> Roughly every 56 days. I was inspired by my dad's commitment to give blood regularly and my, both of my parents' uh, commitment to uh, help others in our community. But Vinton's community keeps expanding. And we're on. My quest now is to donate at least one unit of whole blood in all 50 states. I'm blown away. Uh, I'm not even sure our team at national headquarters has heard of someone undertaking such a journey. Really, it takes somewhere about five to 10 minutes at the most usually for the actual blood donation. A journey that began 14 years ago when he took a new job that required lots of travel. First time I was away from home and I was eligible to give, I said, well, I guess I could donate blood here. I was in Florida and donated blood in Florida. That was 40-something states ago. Only Idaho, Nevada, Alaska, and Hawaii have not tapped into Vinton's vein. You know, I think Hawaii would be a great place to cap it all off. Vinton is certain his blood is saving lives, but he wonders which lives. Who's going to be on the receiving end of that? Who might benefit from that? Of course, I'll never meet them. I'll never know who they are, but that's okay. But that, that mystery to me just is uh, inspiring to think about those who are are benefiting from an act of kindness. And honestly, not just from myself, but from everyone who donates blood. But Vinton isn't just focused on human life. Why were linden trees chosen? We first met him in Gettysburg. I thought, well, there's gotta be a way I can do this. Taking grafts and creating saplings. Perhaps picking a section about like that, removing the bark entirely, and then scraping the cambium layer away from the bark so that, it, that the branch can't get any nutrients whatsoever. So that so-called witness trees can live forever. That tree witnessed the Battle of Gettysburg, provided aid and comfort to soldiers waiting to come into the church where they would be cared for. Some may have lost their limb or lost their life, and that tree was one of the last things that gave them comfort. Almost done. And Vinton gives comfort by giving blood and preserving family trees. The chance for a, uh, a mother to see her son graduate, a, a father to watch his, uh, to walk his daughter down the aisle during her wedding, the chance for grandparents to hold their grandchildren and get to know them. There are a few things that somebody can do that have such a big impact on people's lives. This is uh, 135 whole blood donations. Oh, that's awesome. So that's over 400 lives saved. A few minutes of time to, to save their life to enable them to have more moments with their family and loved ones that will have in, uh, impacts uh, tr that transcend generations in their family.